Yep. Inside, side TV. It's hard for me not to be a beat me, but I can see you're deflated. I seen you were so deflated after the uh, the derby the other day. Just, just some of your thoughts, mate. You've been meeting three 0 You're at the Carabao Cup. Newcastle played basically a B team today. Mate, C team, man. Paul Dummett. Paul Dummett's been there how many years? Ten years. Forever. And he's absolutely bossed us. Got a clean sheet here. Mate, he's, he's done, man. Ten has got a goal. I'm done. Season, write it off. It's embarrassing, man. Absolutely embarrassing. Newcastle coming there with six effing fullbacks. And they dominate us today. Not just win, mm. dominate us today. That's embarrassing, man. I am embarrassed. Sat next to Newcastle fans taunting me the whole game. Shout out to them. But listen, every level, man, it's embarrassing. You get beat 3 0 on the weekend. You think of the reaction. You've got a new team out there. Same results. They've given up. The players have given up. They've thrown the white towel in and they've had enough. They're not playing for the manager because I see people walking today. Walking. We've got one manager, Eddie Howe, got a plan with players that are not even his first, second team. You've got another manager who's got established internationals on the pitch and still can't get a tune out, mate. He's done, man. There's levels. Eddie Howe's clear of him, mate. Honestly, tactically, every single level, Eddie Howe is clear. Managing the game, substitutions, everything. Everything that you see on the football pitch, he schooled him today. And Ten Hag, mate, I'm sorry, you've got to go tonight, wherever it is, they've got to go. I know there's bigger issues at the football club. I know that these Glazers are the cancer and, the, and just evil. They're evil. They need to go. But I'm sorry, also, this guy needs to go as well. He's not good enough for the job. Two things can be right. He is not good enough. I'm sorry. I'm tired, man. It's, it's too much. Mm. Seven nil. How many defeats has he got? Like, I mean, Oli got battered a few times, yeah, but this guy's getting battered. He's an established manager. Mm. I don't know. I can't see any difference, mate. Honestly, I can't see any difference between Ten Hag, Oli, or anything from the past few years. And like you said, the players on the pitch, the amount of money he spent on, on you know, he chose Anthony for 70, 80 million. He chose these big players, and they're not turning up for him. And like you said at the start there, it felt to me tonight. None of them are playing for him. Nah, man. People are walking. You see for the goal, Almiron. Dallow's walking. Almiron's near, near the Newcastle fans. <laughs> you know we end. He's in the end. He's in the And he's managed to sprint past Dallow. They're just giving up, man. The players are giving up. Players are walking around. Mason Mount, he looks clueless out there. I know he's trying, but, you know, the whole system, everything is done, man. The players have given up. And like I said to you, the fans are having blind faith. If you're backing this, I don't know what you're backing. Nothing is turning around for this manager. I've seen the cycle before. And it is sad that another manager has failed under this ownership. It is sad. But ultimately, man, Ten Hag is disappointing me, man. He's done things that have he's sackable himself. Mm. You know, other things. I, I can moan about the Glazers, but he's done things that are sackable on the fucking football pitch. Sorry to swear, but he's done, he's, he's, he's done things on the football pitch that are sackable. You know, I just. Like, how can you have a fresh team that's come from the derby, not play, not be motivated to play? Mm. I mean, they don't get a lot of, by the way. They're, they're a disgrace as well, getting out. Played out, jumped out, muscled out, tactics by Newcastle's C D team. Like, come on, man! You got to have a sense of pride out there. And they never had that, and I just think for me, ultimately, the players, my lad, they just they're, they're, they're clueless. I don't know who comes in and saves this. You know what I mean? It's just a dire, dire time. I see you guys got new owners, new life, new manager. Everything looks like you're on the up. My mm. United just look at they're on the down and just sinking down. So. It is, mate. You did need that new ownership, didn't you? Now yeah. the shakes have gone. So Jim Ratcliffe's meant to be coming in, and you look at it and you think, well, it's not going to be enough to compete, is it? Because look at Newcastle, look at Arsenal now. Even look, even Spurs and that, aren't you, yeah. mate? Do you know what I mean? Like, you, Man United fans must be worried. No, we we are worried, man. We are worried. We're 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 hopeless. We are hopeless. We're we're, we're doomed. You know what I mean? And, and that's the, the sinking feeling. You know, you coming out of there, the, the stadium was empty. You know what I mean? At 70th yeah. minute. I stay because I always stay. I always think like this. You know, I don't know. I don't know why I stay. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> Maybe it's because I live close and whatnot. But yeah, man. I don't know, man. It's just people just, they've just had enough. And just, they don't see a, a sign, man. They don't see a, a plan, an idea, something to believe in. You know, and, and that's the ultimate feeling. Newcastle, you guys brought 8,000. It was like the home team. Newcastle yeah. were the home team today. Yeah. But they were home team on every level. Every single thing they did it. You know, I mean, we, we had the home advantage, but what home advantage now? You know, that's now, I think, I don't even know how many defeats we've had now. You've not, you've not won it since Johan Kabai. 2013. 2013. And that was, that was a, probably the start of the decline. Yeah. And now it's, we're still in that decline. So, 
it's, it's not good, man. And Newcastle today will never have an easier three points here, honestly. You never at one point looked like you were out of control. One point you didn't look like you were you were losing the battle. Anyhow, had you. And every time United had a bit of sort of momentum, you brought on the substitutions, killed the game off. And then, yeah. you know what I mean? Bruno Gomez got hold of that midfield and, and bossed it, man. You got the real Bruno. Our Bruno's a fraud, mate. You know what I mean? So, yeah, it's, it's sad times, man, sad times. If you were to choose inside, you're saying, you know, Ten Hag's got to go. Who comes in, say, tomorrow? Who, who's, what, what, what do you do? I can't do? lie. I think one of the lads over there said to me, who would you bring in? I, I, I know sacking a manager, bringing another guy in won't solve the issue, but I don't know. I, I'll be real to you. Maybe an interim comes in and just settles it to the end of the season because, for me, the Glazers, you know what I mean, they, they, they cannot hire another manager while they're here. You know what I mean? So maybe an interim comes in and, and tries to fix it because the season's a write-off anyway, man. I just It's a sinking ship. You know what I mean? But there's Hansi Flicks out there, there's you know, there's other managers. Dan, I've seen a lot of my United fans today, I was talking yeah, to He won't come to this, he, he needs a settled team. When he came to River Madrid, he had stars in that team. I don't think he comes into a team where he's so toxic and bad, he needs structure. So I don't think he comes in, but ultimately when the board is as is, is bad as it is and the owners are bad as it is, it's, it's a forever challenging issue, but I'm sorry man, this man has to go man. Tenag is not the man to take United forward, I'm sorry. All the best, mate. Hopefully you get what you and want, mate. You know what? Fair play to Newcastle, honestly, man. I wish you all the best because, honestly, like, you know, the team, the manager, good good, good, good group of fans as well. So I just want to give you that, that props, man. Manager, anyhow, top manager. Keep the faith with him, man. Big up, mate. Nah, Big up, mate. Time, man. All right, time, mate. Nice on you. Nice on, bro. Take nice care. on.